I look like a freaking gorilla. I need a shave trim. Huh? Yeah, that's what I, mean. I don't know what to call it. Is it of course, you already knew the one that knew this was going to happen. Hi, Jen. How are you? Oh, that's lovely. No, she commented first, so she's the first to comment. I'll let you see fight about it. Well, when it's more than just used to, I'll get going here. I ain't doing nothing fancy. Huh? But you were first. It's kind of hard not to be first because you live here. Oh, that's a little much. Wow, four people now. Hey, peeps. I don't know who three and four are. They ain't even say anything yet. They may not want to. They may look at the camera and go, oh, this guy again. So, now I'm going to show off Matt's bait. Hope I get more people in here. Try not to sneeze. Huh? Probably Carl. Or Hanson. Either way, hello, guys, gals. That's a little too much. Oh. Huh? Brandon, hey, man, what's up? Good surprise, man. Nice to see you here. How's life treating you, buddy? Well, I guess I'll show these two baits too then. Even though they don't have a box at all. Huh? Hey, Travis. So I better get a hold of uh, Matt. That's what we're, we're taking care of his bait tonight. Well, that's before we do that there, I'll show you a few baits I did for OPO. Goose probably doesn't have internet reception out there at the lake, so. And that's okay. Yeah, these baits ain't a box yet. Yeah, that's what Awesome! <laughs> There's the jerk bait from uh, this morning's uh, live paint I did. Sorry for the crappy ca camera. Little walleye snack. These are the, here's one of those no roll minnows. All these baits go to OPO, by the way. No thanks needed, brother. You see the purple stripes underneath that. They do actually pop out. Uh, here's one of the new crankbaits that uh, Shane sells. It's called a gorilla. They're completely silent, which is just fine. I'm waiting for a pop seat to get in. Can you tell? Yeah, me too. 
I'll see hope you guys like this now. Watch this. I can't believe I did it. This is a lot of hand painting, too. I did a chipmunk. And yes, I know the lines are uneven. I did it by hand or intentionally like that. Let's see if you can make it. There are so many different browns in there. Hey, Matt, I'm glad you're here. And yeah, I know. Really unnatural blue eyes after I did all this natural stuff. So, I got to epoxy this baby in. Get it ready. And the only other POP I have epoxy right now is this little. And all the orange dots on here that you see, ah, glow in the dark. Two on one side, three on the other. My gosh, this guy is a freaking epoxy slick. Yes, that is not a solid lateral line. I have a broken bit. So, we're going to be uh, doing two treble hooks for Matt's bait. Oh, give me a second here. This is one of our brothers. If my phone decides to operate. <laughs> Sorry, that was just Corey. Anyway, I'm doing two treble hooks. Uh, last week, you guys know I did an auction uh, for things that go to OPO. Just showed you some of them. And Fred and Matt spent the most money, so they got a hand card bait free. And they both wanted a spook. And Matt wanted a bleeding shad. That's not black there. That's a blue sparkle. All epoxied up. Ready to roll. So, looks a lot better in person, believe me. Little bleeding shad. So, and Matt, I'm going to put on bigger treble hooks with this thing. So, you know, bass don't have a chance of swinging it around, you know, and then gets leverage and throws it out. But I'm not doing anything fancy to uh, these treble hooks. Because I don't want to take anything, too much of anything away from the bait itself. So, anyway, where did I put it? We're going to do the front treble hook. Like I said, this is nothing special. You guys might get bored. Just Red Chenille. Hey, Corey. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the baits, buddy. Thank you again for buying them. All that money went to a very good cause, buddy. As we know. If anybody has, I'm going to get to this here after this first look. Uh, we got a lot of friends that are in need of prayers right now. But if you have any prayer requests, please put them in the comments. I have a feeling that's an excited little kid messaging me. Do you know what I just did? I didn't take my thread up. I can't believe I did that. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. Sorry about that, y'all. I know I very easily could use a red hook. Ah, I think these are cooler. Well, I do like red hooks, though, too. Whatever. I don't have any. Mm. 
No. That is not a blue jay feather. Ah. <laughs> Awesome. I hope you're doing a unboxing with her. Hey, you got stickers? Yeah, Corey, that war bonnet jig. I'm sorry I didn't do a good enough job on it. I, I still got to work on that. Well, at least you got it. I hope you like everything, Soraya. Little Miss Soraya even got an autograph from me. Not that it's worth anything. I didn't give you too many uh, small jigs, Corey, because I know you're starting to get your fast stuff going again. So I'm just trying to hook you up. <laughs> Well, one more, and then we're going to drop our magic stuff on there. Uh, I know Soraya, she got that pink zebra, pink tiger, whatever you want to call it, uh, little jig. Hopefully that serves her well. I really hope she throws that uh, jerk bait around too. Because it, it doesn't just work as a jerk bait. You can cast out real straight in. So if she don't know how to use the jerk bait, that's fine. But she, I already did give her a jerk bait. That pinkish one. She called that catfish one. So yeah. Let's have fun. All right. Thank you. So, where did I put them? Oh, yeah, I don't know where I put my things. Mm, of course, yes. Thank you, dear. Where will we men be without our wives? I tell you. Thank you. And amen. God is great. Next hook. See, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy going on this one either. Not even doing feathers. This is all going to be chenille. I know it's not going to be red either. Oh, shoot. Come on. Of course, I would put one wrong. Sorry, guys, give me a sec. Oh, whoops. There we go. Changing out the thread. Believe it or not, there is some purple on this bait. Uh, that color shifts into purple. So we're going to switch over to purple real quick. That's going to be this dark purple. Hopefully, I have enough. My goal is to have that first treble hook, you know, that red one, stick out more than the rear one. So they hit the first one, the one towards the head first, which they normally do anyway. But it's just because it has a better chance of getting both hooks. All right. In my opinion. 
Maybe I'm not. All right, let me get this all ready to roll, and we're going to talk about something real quick. We're going to take a little break. This kind of thread I really don't like sometimes. It likes to slip. Whenever I run out for it next time, I guess I'll just get a flat wax nard on. So, real quick, guys. Uh, we need to keep some of our friends in our in prayer. Um, Well, number one, we're going to start off with Patrick. Patrick, as you obviously see, he's not in here tonight for a very good reason. He's about ready to become a daddy. Uh, his uh, wife went into labor and her uh, baby's on the way. So I prayed with Patrick as he was heading in and stuff and... Uh, these little baby girls coming. Where's my other Chanel, Jen? Don't laugh at me. And here's something else. We gotta keep Amy in our prayers. Um, Amy has suffered a heart attack the other day, you know, and obviously she's pretty weak and uh, not doing so hot. Uh, I've been there. Um, Cheyenne. I mean, I've been there with uh, where she's been. I talked to a lot to her fiance Jake and stuff, and just keep Amy rolled up in our prayers as well. Uh, pray for God's guidance and comfort and healing on her. Uh, it's not fun being where she's at. I'll tell you, personal experience. Uh, I continue prayers for Goose as he's still on his journey of healing. Huh? Cody. And Cody, yes. If I forget anything, please let me know. So, Silver, I'm going to use this dark blue. See? Yes, I will. I'm going to mix three of these together, believe it or not. Okay. I should say I'm going to try to, man. <laughs> Let's see if my man man design works out in my head. Okay. Three colors to Chanel. Ice blue, darker blue, and silver. Oh. We're going to twist, uh, wrap them down, then we're going to twist them. Hopefully. Any other prayer requests, please let us know. Don't be afraid to. All right. So that ice blue and that, uh, Silver looks so close together, so I'm going to put the dark blue in the center here, see if that helps anything. Which it probably won't. Of course it's not, but hey, who knows. If I try to wrap off. Ah. 
All right. Would you shush? Shush. Sorry. Kids. You know. Sometimes they don't get easier. Well, unless they're just my kids. Red rum. Red rum. <laughs> yeah, Corey. Red rum sitting right beside me. Oh, my gosh. You guys can't see what I'm doing. You just have to look at my ugly face. See, I'm twisting all three of these together. And I'm hoping I don't accidentally let go. Cheyenne, shut up. <laughs> Try to keep a tight grip on these. Somebody just had to text me. <laughs> hey, Ron, let go. Uh, can't throw the link at the moment. No, I got Jen home. Wait, let's finish this bait up real quick. Believe it or not, I don't know if you guys can tell. I can see each and every. I can see the silver. I can see the blue. I can see the ice blue, and so on. This is just gonna. This is just to look like a tail. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a little hint of purple on the top. Oops. Too close there. Really trying to wrap that down tight. Why, thank you, Matt. Kind of took me by surprise. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Oh, yeah, maybe I should do some my half hitches. How many people are surprised I actually did a sh shad? <laughs> Customer's always right. Do what the customer wants. You don't do what you just want. I'm going to clear that hole a little bit. Another reason I didn't use any fancy feathers or anything on this is I am really don't want it to uh, risk uh, anything happening to this maybe where it won't run right when I go to uh, to uh, test it tomorrow. I go, oh crap! Now I gotta make Matt another one. Now I'm just gonna do what I can to make it look really good without risking it not working, or ruining the action of the bait. So. Like, did I say I'm putting bigger split rings on this here? I don't know about some of you, but I have had uh, bad luck sometimes, with, sometimes, not all the time, but with spooks, where a bass jumps out of the water and is able to throw the hook, you know, because they get too much lever, too small of a split ring or whatever. That's why I tend to use slightly bigger split rings. 
on Awesome. You get the tail, he gets the meat. Put in the freezer. I don't know about any of you hunters out there. Um, anybody else getting an itchy trigger finger or <laughs> for uh, deer season yet? Hunting season? It's not just deer hunting with me, I hunt for everything. If it tastes yummy and goes in my belly. That. That ain't gonna take too long to dry. You guys know that. So I'll be putting the band together here in a moment. And I do not put split rings on <clears throat> the front by a line tie. Of a spook. That's just me. Oh man. So he killed it, grilled it, and threw away the leftovers all at the same time. Sad. By the time I'm done putting this red hook, the red one on, that uh, other one should be done drying. Exactly, Malone. Uh, Travis, right? You get yourself a deer, and guess what? You use the hive, you use whatever you want to. Malone's a trapper, man. Trapped a lot more. You know, whatever I didn't use, I to consume, you know. You know, there would be baits made, there would be you know, trapping bait made. Don't waste a thing, or at least try not to. Honey, I need to get a brand new pair of bring pliers, or make a new pair, I should say. These are really wearing bad. Nice. I don't have enough life to send the gadget. We'll keep down here till it's all together. Matt, if you don't like something, let me know. Uh, if you don't like the hooks the way they will be, will be, do whatever you want to, buddy. I'll see what Matt says, and then I'll give my honest opinion. <laughs> Matt, uh, the DNA is free. How am I not bleeding from that? I can wash the rear treble hook for you. How am I not bleeding from that? I'm tough. Then why are you laughing at me? You smiled. I count that as a laugh. I'm like, haha, the idiot hurt himself again. Uh, free DNA. Yeah, free DNA, Matt. <laughs> don't try to clone me. You don't want any of this. This almost says America. <laughs> almost. All right.
So what do you think, Mr. Matt? I like it like that. These are actually size two hooks. Dang, I wish I had size ones now. Why does it look so small when I hold it up to the camera, but here it looks fine. Is that okay with you, buddy? Or you want me to switch something around or I'll try to be testing it in the morning. If it works right straight proper, I'll let you know. Okay, put those two hooks together. It's almost like Marvel. <laughs> Thank you. Here's to you, Donald Trump, America. Amy, don't start. Calm down. So I'll leave that there for me to test tomorrow morning. Ah. Uh, if I'm able to get any video footage, but doing it by myself. Seriously, how did I not bleed? Oh, I got like a little red dot now. I went in far. Huh? No, I'm just surprised. It almost went to the barb. But now it's just like a little red dot there. That is weird. Huh? No, I'm not doing it again. So... All right. So I'm looking for suggestions, everyone. I know, Amy. I'm just playing with you. Just trying to get you get back into the swing of things. Maybe laugh a little. Um, I got one more of these rat baits. We seen we did Alva in here. Well, I didn't have any black eyes, but you know what? The blue eyes go good on it. So that's a different. So we got a chipmunk. What other rodent should I do now the other uh, plop, rat plopper? <clears throat> huh? Jan, get my boo boo. Get my boo boo. Now I got a boo boo on my hiney. Kiss my hiney. Oh, those looks. You want one what? What, a chipmunk? I don't have a bait for myself at the moment to do. I'm only doing Operation Phoenix Outdoor baits and hand card baits at the moment. The blanks I have are for OPO. Really dog. Prairie dog. That's going to be a little bit more brown. But no, it's the same color I did the chipmunk. How did I mix up this chipmunk again? That dandelion, burn umber, no, not burn umber, chocolate, and then a little bit of burn umber. Well, Amy, uh, whenever I've done painting baits for it, Son of a gun, he said exactly what I thought the other day. Fairy. I've never seen a ferret swim. But who cares? <laughs> it's like a, I don't think a bass or a pike's going to care. I'm like, I was thinking of a squirrel, but a ferret. I, I was thinking about a ferret or a squirrel. I'll be honest with you. Right. The Puxatani Phil, the groundhog. <laughs> What's cute, Amy? The prairie dogs or the, uh, well, ferrets. Well, they're both cute to me. Well, that ferret will be a challenge, though. <laughs> Cody Phil lick the whisk I'll show you later Jen <laughs> oh Cody 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 so we got what's a good okay. 
Are you with mom and dad? I don't think he is. He's just a um, list of dudes. I'll tell you one thing. Once I get an answer for, that's a double answer, you know, I, I don't know. This is a toss up. This is a roll of the dice now. Everybody got so many great ideas. No, he said black footed ferret. I was thinking the same thing the other day. A ferret or a squirrel. But now they're coming up with such other good ideas. A sugar glider. All right, take it on the doggies. Sugar. So, yeah, sugar glider, prairie dog, ferret. Groundhog. A well, groundhog ain't this skinny. If a groundhog's this skinny, there's something wrong with it. Huh? Who do you want to fill with? Cheyenne. Oh, Cheyenne. Oh, yeah. Taco bar? Do a horn toad. No. Okay. No. Tried that years ago before I ever had a YouTube channel or with Goose. No. Because one, I got my almost had my butt whooped uh, from my mom, even though I was older. Because I went to the rose bush, took a, I did a frog style popper, took a whole bunch of thorns off of it, glue. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't fun. It, it looked like garbage. Cody, that sounds funny, but now I got I don't have any poppers. I'm gonna have to do a weasel popper sometime. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah. Why did I ever think of that before? Do a weasel popper. Well, I could also do a beaver. Bait. Oh, Terry's not here to ruin it. Okay. Oh, Amy, did you still need me to put the link up there? Oh, I don't have my earbuds. I'm going to have to try to reach around here and find them. And yes, I just realized I just said reach around. Man, I don't know where they are. Some of them are I painted these two gigantic poppers last year. You can use them for pretty much anything. Um, but I took them down and gave one to uh, Amanda, Mr. Brandon. Uh, oh, Corey, I don't know if you know Brandon. Check out his channel. He hasn't been able to do much lately. He's been busy doing school and stuff. Amazing bait maker. But I gave one to her and I gave one to Melissa. They're really gigantic poppers. The joke was, not for Amanda, but for Melissa was, it has a big mouth. All right. Lisa. Oh, good. I have one of them. I rarely ever use it. I don't know why I don't have a good reason. I can see getting a pike or a muskie on them. Make Buck from Ice Age. That would be funny. 
make a little leaf eye patch. Sorry, guys, I can't find my earbuds when Amy pops up. I'm going to have to lean in closer. You'll probably see a top of my head. Oh, I'd throw it. Uh, whenever you get the eagle's nest, you know, you will, or if you induce or able to, or if you're able to take, go down to the beach or uh, blue water. I don't know anything about Texas, really. I, uh, with some of their fishing, I don't think there's any pike or muskie fishing around there. I oh, know blue water, there's muskie. Hey, give me a sec, Amy. And uh, obviously, there's eagle's nest. There you go. Oh, girl. I'm sorry. You look your eyes. What? You can tell you've been having rough lately. I feel like an old corn cob. Yep. Rough and tough. You know, John Wade and toilet paper. Don't take no crap off nobody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to read something real quick. It comes from Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. He said, if you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commandments and keep all his decrees, I will not bring onto you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians. For I am the Lord who heals you. Y'all, uh, we, we all need healing in our life. We all have struggles. We all have battles that we have to fight. We all have tribulations that we have to go through. But rest assured, when you place your faith in God and keep his word close to your heart, it's, it's no telling what you can accomplish. Amen. Yeah. You know, I'd, I'd still be in the hospital right now if it hadn't been for my crappy insurance. I think I got dark eyes. It's okay, Amy. I know what you're going through. I've had the dark eyes, too. You're all right. I look like death. <laughs> I'm not going to make any vacuum jokes. That looks like you, you... <laughs> It's a flesh wound. It's a flesh wound. But, y'all, I'm not going to stay on here much longer because I am exhausted. And I'm fixing to lay down and I'm going to take me a sleeping pill. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be up all night. But I wanted to... Say thank y'all for all the prayers and and everything. Uh, but dear Heavenly Father, we come in prayer, Lord. We ask that you just touch our bodies and make us whole. Take us into your comforting arms. Boost our energy. Find what's ailing us and destroy it. Or we ask that you just wrap your arms around us and let us thank you and live in your glorious name. Or we thank you for the opportunity to fellowship. 
in that in today's time accomplishes a lot. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Ron, I love you. Corey, I love you. All of you. I love you. I'm going to try it. God, my eyes are getting darker. Nah, it's just you. You're still the same from the time you came on. I didn't know they were that dark. You're okay. I've been there. I guess that's what happens when somebody wakes you up at their clock asking if you want a sleeping pill. Okay. Yeah, that's a hospital for you. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get off here. I love each and every one of you. And just, you know, be good people. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye. Oreo is really hard not to laugh at the smoky eye comment. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Amy, when she was going through that the other day, <clears throat> she was telling me about her symptoms and stuff before they took her back to the cath lab. She was describing <clears throat> uh, my first heart attack. You know, that was my first heart attack. Um, I got dark eyes, so I don't know if it's because of the type of heart attack or what. Second heart attack, my widow maker, I didn't get the dark eyes. So, I don't know. Or maybe it was because I was put on blood thinners the first time, you know, and I had all those blood thinners in me that my eyes went dark. I don't know. I don't know. But, Amy, I know what you're going through. We're praying for you. We love you. You know. We want you to take care of yourself. And we want you to marry Jake, too. So. Tell you one thing. That night, I got to know Jake a lot. Quite a lot. Uh, he's a good guy. Um, tell you one thing. Those two are, excuse the pun, you know, Alabama. Well, those two are like peas and carrots. Yeah, Oreo, I said that. Talk with them. So. Yeah, he, me and him were up really late talking. I slept about two hours. I fell asleep. I was like, oh, well, I'll just respond to this last message. Hopefully he's sleeping. Nope. Within two seconds. Well, not two seconds, but like a minute or two. Ching! I'm like, what are you doing awake? <laughs> so. So. Anybody else watching this here later on? If you want any baits, you can get. I'm not going to shut up, Jake. You big softy. Uh, he's a tough old codger. Uh, i tell you one thing. Those two. What I really think was funny. You know, since I've been in a similar situation as of what's going on. I've seen what happened to Jen. I've seen what happened to myself, obviously, too. So I, I can... Feel where he was coming from, where Amy was coming from, the whole nine yards, you know, and I could really start to understand it's like even more so. It's like he loves Amy, but Amy does not realize how much he loves her. <laughs> he loves her so freaking much. Like we've all been married for at least almost 20 years, right? You know, most of us in here. Um, I will be in about two weeks. Um, praise God. And uh, those two might, might as well be married that long as well and love each other just as much, you know, because they're in that much love. 
it, it, it's amazing to get to know this. Almost five or twenty-five. Oh, that's right. You're younger than I am. So. I'll tell you one thing. It's a true blessing. I'm used to being the baby of the group, dude. These youngins come in here like, ha ah. So. Sorry, background noise. Yeah, you little baby. I'm 40. Actually, the baby of the group. No, it's not even Brendan. You know, he's here and there every so often. Faith first fish, fishing. Uh, so he's a good kid. He's like, what do you know? Or is it Chase Holbrook? Between, it's a toss up between those two and Austin. So. Which is really good. We get them around here, you know, sharing, you know, gospel and bait making things. So those guys at such a young age can step up even further than what we ever did. So start them off young. So and with the right mindset, keeping God first in your life and all things that you do. So 29. Man, I wish I was 29 again. I had most of my hair still. That's gray. Oh, he is so cute. Yeah. Mass little boy and Soraya. I tell you one thing. Well, and all the little thumps, uh, as I call them, uh, from Corey, Matt's kid, uh, little boy. I just love seeing these little kids growing up fishing with. You know, raising them right, giving them God's great outdoors, appreciation for God, getting them into bait making too here and there if you can, or whatever. That way, when they're our age, or my age, since I'm an old fart now, <laughs> you know, they're going to make us look like chumps, which is a good thing. Right, Oreo? Yeah, he don't care. Oreo. He's just laying in front of the fan. He don't care now. What, well, honey? I don't know, but you look like you can eat a fireball right now. Spit it out into a hunk of charcoal. Amen. Amen and amen to that. What, honey? Ah. I can tell you what's wrong. Are you going to tell Amy what's wrong? She's not in the chat right now. She's on the phone. One of the kids has you really ticked off. Yeah. I'm not saying which one. All I'm saying is the kid that's not one of the oldest or the youngest. Number three. Ronald was is two minutes older than Sky. Then there's Sky. Then there's the one you're really ticked at, and then the uh, Destiny. Yeah. You lose a track here. You're getting old. <laughs> Plus me too. You can't always be happy with me. I gotta agitate you. No, I told her not to buy something. She did. 
she better wouldn't have bought an energy drink. She walked to the supermarket. I told her to stay with them. She's walking by herself. Okay. And she said there's people looking at her. My mom would have had a freaking switch. Well, no, not even a switch. She would have had a frying pan waiting on me or at the cutting board with the those cutting boards with the handles. Has anybody else got had them back when they were kids and got wailed by one of those things or had one break over them? It doesn't feel good. <laughs> yes, you do, Amy. Just call yourself Rocket. Oh yeah, Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon is from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I've never seen it, I just know his name. Because I got two of those baits that were called Rocket. Look like a little raccoon swimming, they're freaking hilarious. Well, I'm going to do a freaking boat, I guess. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Whatever. Oh yeah. I got thrown into a rose bush. Is <laughs> three of them? They're like, bum, 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 bum. oh yeah. You're all right, honey. Do you need a beer? I know you don't drink. I can't wait for you to get the baits too, buddy. Well, you really suck with the top water theme. <laughs> so, yeah, he's the one that uh, got the top water baits last week. So, I will be testing this tomorrow for sure. I really like how that t the tail hooks. I guess it looks small. The hooks look small though because of the chenille I have on it. But they're, they're actually okay with this bait. So. You'll, you'll see it when you get it, buddy. You know, so. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Brandon. Yeah, get some rest, dude. It's not even Friday. Brandon does some amazing work. Yeah. He really does. I'm not talking about just baits. What he does for a living for the vets at the VA and stuff. Good, 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 good man. Yeah, it has a little too much glitter in it, but you know what it's not gonna hurt anything. For my taste anyway. Anything you'd like to add, Jen? No. Are you sure? What should we do tomorrow night? I don't know what to do tomorrow night in the live stream. I'm not going to, like, give it. Throw up some ideas, guys. We want to see you on tomorrow night's live stream. What? I don't got any raccoon fur left. Wait for trapping season. I'm going to start trapping again this year, but only using dog proofs or uh, raccoons and possums. Believe it or not, possum hair makes really good jigs. Don't let anybody tell you they don't. They're... I'm going to have to take this here. Uh, I can't play it right now. 
Horn Toad 2.0. No, what do you got? Uh, I can do some a jig. I can try to do. If, I'm gonna put it on mute right here so I can hear this message, and then you guys just fill out the comments of what you would like to see. It could be something totally different that I don't normally do either. When it comes to time, a popper. And we're back. <clears throat> Long story short, Goose is having a fantastic fishing trip. I'm not going to spoil anything. I will let him talk about it when he's back. A mini beaver. I was talking about, you know, jigs, flies, something like a new device. Mr. Taterhead. I got googly eyes. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, Amy. I shouldn't be doing this either, obviously. I'm sorry. But tomorrow, a caterpillar? See, he's thinking. <laughs> a caterpillar. I like that idea. What would I do that on, though? Uh, give me a sec here, buddy. I'm on the live stream. I'm about ready to go off. So. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get off of here. Let you all go. Um, been over an hour anyway. So I like the caterpillar idea. I'm going to have to think about that. God bless each and every single one of you. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully, I see you all tomorrow night. <laughs> Daughters. And remember, there's always new hope in Christ. All right, I'll do a cigarette, Lord, for you, Amy.